Good afternoon. This is Libertarian View, your source of decentralized and distributed information. On June 29, YouTube banned not only Stephen Molyneux's channel, but around a thousand others in one move, some as big as his. Other platforms also banned him. Twitch suspended even Trump's account, for your information. But why does Molyneux's channel banning matters this much? Molyneux already had a podcast on the website LeroRockwell.com, but he started his YouTube channel in 2009 before the training of the platform. Only few people had internet access good enough to watch videos. In 2010, he recorded the video that made him famous, the story of your enslavement. He was one of the first libertarian anarcho-capitalists to use the platform to spread libertarian views. He made huge success, almost a million subscribers. 4 million monthly views, the biggest libertarian YouTube channel of the world. Of course, due to his enormous success, he was accused of being a far-right racist hate speech channel, as his channel kept his many subscribers despite of every criticism against him, they start calling him a cult leader. For sure, the leftists will never admit the guy channel had plenty of views because he's a good speaker, says things that touch people. His older videos are amazing. It's true that over time he started talking less about libertarianism. His latest videos dealt with relationship dilemmas and subjects alike much more. However, he has always declared himself as a narco-capitalist, libertarian and very often solved conflicts using libertarian ethics and the NIP, no aggression principle. The videos are long and hard to binge watch but always had lots of views. I strongly recommend you to watch his videos on Beat Shoot. Like happens with all older and cap libertarians, I don't agree 100% with Molyneux ideas. The same way I don't back anyone's position entirely. Neither should you. Libertarians are, by definition, individualists in their principles and that's the strength of the movement. The point, in particular, that got him banned is something I don't agree with him. I have been discussing against it for a long time in libertarian Facebook groups, Twitter and YouTube comments. I have always made my point clear, there's no such thing as IQ, there's no reasoning to it. It doesn't measure anyone's intelligence, it measures, at most, some adequation of the person being tested into the way of thinking of the author of the test. That's not intelligence, it's conformity with a pattern. Intelligence is something subjective and timeless, therefore impossible of having an absolute and perennial marker. All the talking about IQ is science, too much science, so much fucking science! The government used in the past to justify their atrocities, laws that provided for sterilization of low IQ people so they would not have error and many other terrible things. How do I know that the exact topic, particularly comparing races IQ, got him banned? Because amongst older banned channels, many of them talked about the same subject. There are races with higher or lower IQ. No, there's no such thing because IQ is bogus. It's a pointless view, no logical reasoning like I said. Different tests point out different results. Oh, but there are theories talking about it. PhD authors and so on. Yeah, scientists saying shitty things is a very common. It's hard to find one that doesn't. Oh, but the XYZ companies use IQ tests for hiring employees. Yes, there are companies using horoscope, astrology, numerology, quantum crystals, government laws and many more stupid for hiring. Of course, some HR idiot will use IQ as well. Oh, but government's bureaus like CIA, FBI use IQ. Yes, and that's the dangerous part. Remember the starting point of libertarianism? Scientificism cannot be used to define one's freedom. Look at the fucking lockdown. Only logic and ethics should be used for that. Every time a scientific test is there to dictate how someone should live his life, that's scientificism, not actual science. And it always violates one's liberty. Oh, but if I say different races have different IQs, I'm not violating anyone's freedom of speech. That's a fact. Freedom of speech must be absolute. But you're being a douchebag because it's only purpose supporting racist decisions. Remember, IQ is bullshit. It measures no one's intelligence. One of the greatest aspects of freedom of speech is allowing people to say bullshit so we can take our position against them. 
And again, YouTube is a private enterprise. It has the right to stop people from using its platform for any reason. If they want to turn against people who take IQ seriously, it's their right. Having said that, I want to make it very clear. Even though I disagree with Molyneux's opinion on this topic, I think it's absurd his channel was banned by YouTube. Firstly, because freedom of speech must be absolute. No one should be banned under any circumstance. Secondly, because he's got great ideas in which I agree most times. The libertarian ideas. Even the ones I don't like very much should be discussed. Nothing should be taken out of discussion, out of the freedom of speech. It was a big loss not only for the libertarianism, but to all society. Despite using hate speech as a protest for ending the channel, the real reason of banishment everybody knows. The Trump Lamb elections happen in November. The American socialist progressive elite is terrified with the possibility of losing another election to Trump. The world socialist progressive elite cannot let that happen or their big reset new plan on world government won't go ahead. Almost every right wing page or channel has been banished in Trump land. Now they started with the libertarians. Right next, have no doubt will be the conservatives and minarchists. Pay attention to those libertarians and conservatives who praise right-wing people but under arrest. In Brazil, many examples are very recent. Dude, even if you don't agree with them, you must remember, when they finish purging the right-wing, they shall turn against us, libertarians. We are the next in line for purge. Honestly, we need to accept the fact that those who aren't far-left progressists can't count on YouTube. YouTube is enclosed with the left. Remember, this is happening due to Trump's election. At the latest, in 2022, well, see something like that taking place in older countries. In Brazil, for instance, they will try to stop Bolsonaro's re-election. However, they will try to take him out before. An um, impeachment in this case may make the banning wave come sooner. I'm not celebrating. It's the opposite. That makes me a target too, because, because now one of the biggest libertarian channels in the world is Libertarian View, the Brazilian Portuguese channel, with about 2.2 million monthly views. Pretending every time they purge the big channels, two things happen. Firstly, more good channels and viewers had to alternative platforms increasing their views. More people had to beat shoot, ivory and etc. Alex Jones moved to beat shoot and still has many viewers over there. Parler is an app which grows to be an alternative to Twitter. A gab. We have an encounter as well. Secondly, new right-wing or libertarian channels emerge on YouTube, Libertarian View among them. Even though it doesn't have the same reach as their original channel, ideas still get spread out. The world left-wing is the wrong strategy. They think the enemy is like themselves. Since they are organized and big, hierarchical channels, they believe we, the libertarians and right-wing people, are too. We're not. It's the centralized info spread through small channels, WhatsApp groups tearing the left wing apart, and these communication channels they cannot destroy. It's a shame. YouTube is responsible for 40% of these channels' income nowadays. But we all need to have in mind the channel's YouTube period will come to an end. Follow us in all our platforms and our website, Libertarian View. Thank you for your audience. This article was suggested by Jason Todd, written by Jason Todd, revised by Peter Turgenev, and narrated by Alexander Bard. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up icon below and share the video in a social network. If you want to be notified of older videos, hit subscribe and then the bell icon. See you soon!